What's going on everybody? Brad here, back for another merchandise hunt. I am at Target, and I was just in Target and found some really cool stuff. Now, uh, a little preamble here. If you are uh, adverse to spoilers, if you don't want to see any spoilers, potential spoilers i don't even know how much of a spoiler it is but uh, potential spoilery items for godzilla x kong the new empire uh maybe don't watch this video because there are some things in the toys that i think could spoil some stuff but uh, if you don't want to see that stuff then skip but otherwise there's some cool jurassic ghostbusters other stuff so uh we'll see it inside <laughs> All right, so there was everything that I found in Target. And man, this was just a great day for toy hunting, I feel like. Uh, so the biggest thing for me over the past few days or so, a, few, a week or so, uh, I've been like scouring everywhere for the Ghostbusters Fright Features figures. Um, now, they are like the retro style figures from when I was a kid. And uh, they are everything. Like they are some of my absolute favorite figures that I've ever owned. Um, I have them still at home, opened, played with, you know, when I was a kid, those same figures, um, to see them in a brand new package, uh, the same package basically, but just brand new now, um, with working features that just look pristine, it's mind blowing. I can't believe that they remade those ones. When I saw that that was happening, I was like, I need to track those down. Um, they are only in Target, and, and I would try to pick them up as soon as you can if you see them in Target. Otherwise, I do think they are um, 
on Entertainment Earth. So they're only in stores at Target, but if you want to buy it online, you can get it through, I think, Entertainment Earth. Um, so check that out. They are awesome figures. They have actions that make their their heads, their hair move, their tie move, like uh, their jaw, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So um, check those out. But then I also found that Isa Sorna Expedition pack whatever it's called uh with Dieter Stark and the uh Unimog that was really cool so I did not pre-order that back in the day whenever that happened so I was like you know what there's one left here I'm gonna grab it I I have been um very slow to pick up like core line stuff recently for just for Jurassic unfortunately um but you know I I've been picking up some stuff slowly here and there and this was like, hey, the first time I saw it, I'm gonna grab it because I really like Dieter Stark as a character. I think the likeness looks really cool and that vehicle's cool. The Raptor, who cares? I don't really need that Raptor, but um, but it's a very cool pack nonetheless. So I'm excited to dive into that one. Um, also, what did we see? Um, I didn't focus on the other Ghostbusters stuff. There were some other toys. Uh, oh, but the Godzilla stuff uh, that I mentioned, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire uh, coming out in March, I think. I forget. Uh, I think it's March, but um, <laughs> um, very, very excited for that movie. And if you haven't, please go check out our full recap of all 10 episodes of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Uh, it's here on YouTube. Plus, it's on the podcast feed. But um, oh, yeah, I was I was filming it and I was like, oh, this is a weird feature. Why is this like chest opened up? And I didn't realize it. But like when I turned it around and saw I was like, oh, this figure just kind of like pops through it's like the exoskeleton it just ex you know or whatever you would call it the uh, exo skin I, I don't know but it just removes the Godzilla skin that we're used to and then out comes the new one and I was like oh my gosh this is potential spoiler territory I didn't see that anywhere I haven't heard anything about well sorry about that my phone uh, ran literally ran out of space uh, so I'll make this quick but uh, that was everything that I saw very excited by the Godzilla stuff the Ghostbusters stuff still need to track down two more Ghostbusters figures um, and hopefully there's some more Jurassic stuff in the way uh, in the future here um, oh yeah I did not pick up the Hammond collection stuff I was like I'm hesitant on that. You know, the, the whatever, the Dimetrodon doesn't look very great. Owen, I'm like kind of over Owen. So I don't know. It does look like a good figure though. So maybe in the future, we'll see if the price maybe comes down or something. But uh, but yeah, either way, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, like this video, mention a comment below. We'd really appreciate it. And watch the podcast or listen to the podcast if you can on all of your ma major podcasting platforms. And uh, check out our Wednesday night live streams every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. here on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, be kind, and enjoy.